cooperation between Korea and ASEAN members has become more important than ever. ASEAN Korea Center Secretary General Kim Myung Sun is spearheading various efforts to bring about robust exchanges and cooperation between Korea and ASEAN. He is working hard to increase exchanges with ASEAN members as well as to promote ASEAN to Korea. The ASEAN Korea Center is playing a central role in promoting mutually beneficial relationship between ASEAN and Korea. What kind of future does he envision for the ASEAN-Korea relationship? Let's find out on today's Heart to Heart. Secretary General Kim young san welcome to Heart to Heart. Thank you for joining us. It is my great pleasure. <laughs> Thank you very much for inviting me here today. Yes. Could you say uh, hello to our viewers that are watching? Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm the Secretary General of ASEAN Korea Center. Uh, thank you for having me here today. Well, welcome. And once again, thank you for joining us on Heart to Heart. Could you maybe begin by telling us about the ASEAN Korea Center and mm -hmm. what the organization does? Mm -hmm. The ASEAN Korea Center is an intergovernmental organization uh, which was established uh, eight years ago mm -hmm. uh, by the 10 ASEAN member countries and Korea. Yes. Uh, we are mandated to promote uh, tr uh, investment, trade, culture, tourism, people-to-people -to -people exchange, and promote mutual understanding between ASEAN and Korea. Mm -hmm. I see. So mm -hmm. uh, we hear a lot about ASEAN mm -hmm. in the media. Uh, we're hearing more about ASEAN mm -hmm. these days. Uh, so what are the 10 member states of ASEAN? And um, how is ASEAN different from Southeast Asia? Do you mm -hmm. often get this question? How is ASEAN different from mm -hmm. Southeast Asia? Yeah, first of all, 10 countries are Indonesia, Malaysia, mm -hmm. Singapore, Philippines, Thailand, and Brunei, and Laos, mm -hmm. Myanmar, Vietnam, and Cambodia. Wow, <laughs> and good Southeast, okay. Southeast Asia is a geographic term, mm -hmm. uh, while the ASEAN is uh, the regional cooperative organization composed mm -hmm. of 10 countries you just mentioned. Yes, and I would imagine that you visited all 10 countries uh, on several occasions because you obviously memorized all these countries. Yeah, of course, uh -huh. I visited all of the 10 countries mm -hmm. and visited many, many times. Many, many yes. times. Jennifer, yes. have you watched the TV program of Yoon's Kitchen? Yoon's Kitchen, oh mm. yes, yes, I mm. have. It's where um, there are about three, four, four Korean celebrities yes. that actually uh -huh. um, run a restaurant, so they're cooking. It's uh -huh. like a cooking program, yeah? Yes. Uh -huh. And Lombok is a beautiful island, resort island in Indonesia, just mm -hmm. across Bali. And uh, there are so many attractions, uh, not only in Indonesia, but across the world. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> and uh, the Bali, Bali is my favorite place. Uh -huh. I think I visited Bali more than 50 times. More than 50 yes. times, that's amazing. The Bali is called the Island of Gods. Mm -hmm. It's a very beautiful and spiritual island, very famous for the scenic uh, rice paddy mm -hmm. and uh, thousands of Hindu temple, a beautiful beach and uh, coral reef. Like in the movie, Eat, Pray, Love, uh -huh. the Bali is the place where you can find true love, mm -hmm. a balance between your body and soul. See. Now, I heard that year 2017 mm -hmm. is a milestone year for mm -hmm. ASEAN and ASEAN-Korea relations, and it marks the 50th anniversary of mm -hmm. its establishment. Now, 2017 was designated as the ASEAN-Korea Cultural Exchange mm -hmm. Year as well. Mm -hmm. So what is your take on the importance of ASEAN and relations between uh, Korea and the ASEAN? Mm -hmm. Yes, so 2017 is a significant year for ASEAN mm -hmm. as well as ASEAN-Korea relations. For the 50 years, ASEAN achieved a lot in terms of uh, peace, uh -huh. stability, and prosperity of the region. And ASEAN-Korea relations has developed a very close uh, relationship uh, in a wide range of areas. And uh, this kind of relations uh, will be further strengthened. So, mm -hmm. 
the ASEAN Korea Center is doing a lot of programs to strengthen this partnership. I see. So what has the ASEAN uh, Korea Center, um, I guess, carried out or prepared for this very special year? Well, we have organized a variety of programs throughout the year, mm -hmm. uh, but to highlight the ASEAN and ASEAN Korea relations, yes. we designated May and June as ASEAN months. Mm -hmm. So we are, we are carrying out seven programs, such as uh, ASEAN Culinary Festival, uh -huh. and ASEAN Tourism Promotion Pavilion, and ASEAN Tourism Culture Photo Contest, and Investment Seminar on ICT, and the ASEAN the lecture series for ASEAN the, the cultures. I see. Yeah. Well, seven programs. They all sound very interesting. Uh -huh. uh, but honestly, I'm a foodie. I love food. Mm -hmm. um, so I would have to say that uh, I missed a great opportunity mm -hmm. to try foods from all 10 ASEAN nations. Mm -hmm. Now, Southeast Asian cuisine is growing very popular in Korea especially. And uh, I guess Southeast Asia is home to a very rich food culture. Yeah, and uh, there's a correct. diverse for, uh, variety of ingredients mm -hmm. and spices mm -hmm. and flavors. Mm -hmm. So what kinds of foods were introduced? Yeah, as you said, the uh, Southeast Asian, the, the dishes are mm -hmm. getting more popular in yes. Korea. So we carefully selected signature dishes uh -huh. this time. Uh -huh. So 20 signature dishes, the two from 10 ASEAN countries were presented during the festival. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, the Vietnamese uh, the food, bún chả, uh -huh. is one of the, the most popular during the festival. You know, bún chả is the Vietnamese food. The, when the President Obama visited uh, Vietnam last year. Uh -huh. So that's why the bún chả now is very famous uh, all over the world. Oh, I see. And uh, did people like it? I mean, were they yeah, crazy about it? Of course, everybody this? was happy. Ah. I, I, I learned uh, the delicious food make everybody happy. Happy, that's yeah. true. That's A special event sponsored by the ASEAN Korea Center. Visitors can sample the signature dishes of ASEAN countries here. What do Koreans think about these foods? Thankfully, there's fresh Filipina. sambal sauce and Koreans like a sambal sauce very very much. We believe food is one of the most effective instruments that uh, connects the hearts and minds of the people across the world. So this time the, we present the most authentic and traditional cuisine of 10 ASEAN countries. Hi Joyce, how are you? Good to see you again. Secretary General Kim is greeting the chefs warmly. The chefs are participating in the festival for two consecutive years. Thank you so much again and again and again. This is fantastic uh, event. I've been to your restaurant in Kuala Lumpur, Rebun, Rest right? Restaurant Rebun, thank so you. I like the food of Restaurant Rebun very, very is much. It? <laughs> so mango cake. Now, uh, Southeast Asian coffee varieties mm. uh, were also introduced at the festival. Now, Indonesia is known to produce, uh, they say, the most expensive coffee in the world. Yes. And um, it, I did some research, and it's uh, Kopi Luwak. Mm. It costs, uh, for a cup, I guess it costs from $35 to $100 for a single cup of coffee. Um, so Indonesia is known to produce Kopi Luwak and Java coffee. Uh, did um, the visitors to the festival enjoy uh, coffee as well? Yeah, of course, in addition to delicious cuisine, uh -huh. uh, we add uh, the special scent and aroma of ASEAN mm. premium coffee this time. So mm -hmm. all the participants were enjoyed a lot. and. Uh, Actually, Lua coffee is not the kind of bean. Mm -hmm. The Lua coffee 
is what uh, seabed, the animal, yes, the like the a cat like eat, 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 the, eat uh -huh. the, the fresh and uh, delicious uh, coffee fruits, yes, and then the the the, the seabed's digestive enzyme mm -hmm. to ferment the bean, yes. So this kind of process uh, gives a special taste and flavor to Lua coffee. That's yes. why Lua coffee is most the most expensive coffee in the world. Mm -hmm. It's very rich in flavor, from what mm. I heard, very mm. rich in flavor and aroma. I mm. uh, should uh, have a taste of it someday mm. soon. Do you enjoy our coffee? Yeah, of Lua? course, of yes? course. Uh, the Indonesian and Vietnamese coffee are well known to Korean people, mm -hmm. but now the, the premium coffee is being produced in other parts of ASEAN, yes. such as uh, Laos, uh -huh. Thailand, and uh, the Myanmar. Hmm. So uh, it's good to see the ASEAN Southeast Asian coffee is gaining recognition and yes. popularity in mm -hmm. the world. At this time, world famous ASEAN coffee is introducing coffee varieties from ASEAN. Wow, we can see flag of ASEAN member on the cup. 야, 너무 정교하게 아주 잘 됐네. 네, 네. 거의 사진처럼. 네. 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 This festival is great success. You see the all the visitors enjoy the delicious food and the uh, the wonderful aroma of quality coffee of ASEAN. Hi, how are you? Hi, doing great. <laughs> thank you, thank you. He is also encouraging ASEAN workers at the event. So are there many visitors? Yes, yeah. it's quite popular. Oh, good. So it's nice to see many people are coming and pretty much enthusiastic about ASEAN. So how do the Koreans get to know more about ASEAN countries, right? Yeah. 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 한번 다 적셔지고요. 어, 이렇게 이렇게 네. 불어 올라오네요. 네, 신선한 커피랑 이렇게 네. 네, 물이 닿으면 네. 불어 올라오게 돼 있습니다. 그래서 아, 이 향이 대단합니다. 네. 아, 참 <웃음> 대단합니다. ASEAN Korea Center strives to promote sustainable partnership between Korea and ASEAN. The center conducts work programs such as ASEAN Trade Fair, ASEAN Connectivity Forum, and various ASEAN Korea SMEs support programs to promote expansion and balance of trade, as well as to contribute to narrowing the development gap among the ASEAN region. The center also organizes ASEAN Culture and Tourism Fair. ASEAN Korea Tourism Development Workshop and ASEAN Roadshow to invigorate tourism and promote people-to-people -people connectivity. Now I'd like to ask you about the ASEAN community, which mm -hmm. was established uh, towards the latter part of year 2015. Mm -hmm. uh, what were the key establishments of mm -hmm. the ASEAN community? Mm -hmm. ASEAN community has greatly contributed more enhanced integration of ASEAN, mm -hmm. even though pace is slow. The ASEAN economic community in particular is to move ASEAN toward a globally competitive economic bloc yes. with a free flow of goods, services, and capitals and labor across the 10 ASEAN member countries. Mm -hmm. There has been a lot of progress. The, for, for instance, uh, the ASEAN 6, uh, which have relatively advanced economies, the, the completed elimination of import duty among mm -hmm. themselves, the, while the the rest of CLMB, the Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, Vietnam, they plan to eliminate the, the import duties by 2018. Mm, I see. That's great news. Yeah. <laughs> there, there, however, there is still much to do. Mm. ASEAN community building is ongoing process. I see. Now, ASEAN has also become a very important economic partner to Korea. Mm. So could you tell us about the importance of ASEAN on the economic front? ASEAN is a key economic partner for us 
As you know, the ASEAN is our second largest trading partner, mm -hmm. as well as second largest uh, investment destination. The, our investment last year in ASEAN there was five billion US dollars, mm -hmm. far exceeding that in China, which was just uh, 3.3 billion US dollars. And ASEAN is getting uh, more and more important because of its uh, size of economy yes. and uh, stable economic growth and the great potential for further development. Another positive sign is that uh, young population of ASEAN mm -hmm. and the rapidly growing middle class. This means that the ASEAN is not just a production base, but the booming uh, consumer market. So I think there is enough reason to keep our eyes on ASEAN. Mm -hmm. I read that if ASEAN were a single country, it mm. would already be the sixth largest economy in mm. the world. Is that right? Yes, yes. right. Now, uh, how do you see the potentials of ASEAN as post-China then? I think ASEAN may not be able to replace China completely. Yes. But the significance of ASEAN as the significance of ASEAN is increasing as an alternative business partner other than China. Mm -hmm. ASEAN has emerged as a production base, partly because of rising production costs in China. Mm -hmm. So ASEAN can provide more business opportunities to Korea. And in addition, the number of ASEAN tourists to Korea is steadily growing, mm -hmm. offsetting the impact of sharp drop in Chinese uh, tourists. And what is important, I think, the ASEAN and Korea don't have any historical or territorial dispute. Mm -hmm. And no country has uh, hidden intention against each other. So I think uh, this is a uh, very sound, uh, therefore, therefore, ASEAN and Korea can develop a more genuine and sustainable relationship. Now, it appears that a lot more Korean companies uh, would have more business opportunities mm -hmm. in ASEAN. So uh, could you give some advice to maybe businesses that are looking to venture out uh, mm -hmm. to ASEAN? Mm -hmm. Well, already many of Korean businesses are operating successfully in the ASEAN region. Mm -hmm. But recently, the ASEAN member countries have been putting more importance on the value-added and uh, technology-based uh, industries. The ASEAN consider Korea as one of the best partner for high technology sectors, such mm -hmm. as uh, uh, smart manufacturing yes. and uh, e-commerce mm -hmm. and ICT and smart city development. You know, there seems to be many more foreigners residing in Korea mm. and many more multicultural families residing mm. in Korea as well. And there are about 500,000 ASEAN residents in Korea. Mm. I mean, the situation in Korea has improved and mm. it's still improving, but I think that there still needs to be much done. Mm. Um, so what, in your opinion, can we do in order to bring about a harmonious mm. multicultural mm. community? Mm. I think many Koreans have biased perception mm -hmm. toward the ASEAN nationals, uh, largely based on their personal experience with migrant workers or multicultural the families. Yes. So it is important to correct such the biased perception and discriminating uh, perception. Mm -hmm. To be a true multicultural society, yes. I think uh, we need to be more open-minded mm -hmm. and tolerant of different cultures. Yes, and I guess in order to understand mm -hmm. one another. Mm -hmm. um, what has ASEAN Korea Center done to perhaps... Um, mm -hmm. uh, so we have been doing a lot of programs uh -huh. to correct the biased uh, perception toward ASEAN nationals, such as uh, the public lecture series mm -hmm. and the people-to-people -people exchange programs. In particular, I put uh, the high importance on the, the students' program of ASEAN yes. in Korea. Uh -huh. So we are supporting their activities of the, the association of uh, ASEAN students mm -hmm. in Korea. So yes, I think you're talking about this youth program. So mm -hmm. what exactly, what kinds of opportunities are these as students, uh, youth, given? Do they come to visit? What kinds of experiences? Yeah, there, there are many different kinds of programs. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, the ASEAN Korea Youth Network, 
Uh, it is an exchange program, and uh, we set a certain theme mm -hmm. and about which the ASEAN and Korean students uh, the discussion and on-site experience together. So it's really helped to deepen understanding mm -hmm. uh, the, between ASEAN and Korean students. I see. It sounds yeah. like a ASEAN Korean Center, a Korea Center, mm -hmm. is doing much. Uh, they're doing a lot. They're mm -hmm. playing a very important role mm -hmm. in building this mutual understanding mm -hmm. and they're doing much to strengthen mm -hmm. a relations between uh, mm -hmm. Korea and, and ASEAN. Mm -hmm. I was surprised to find that there are 37 UNESCO World Heritage Sites mm -hmm. in the ASEAN region. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, please tell us about the ASEAN culture. I'm very curious. Mm -hmm. ASEAN culture is very diverse and syncretic, so very difficult to characterize it in a single expression. I see. ASEAN culture has been affected and shaped by many different cultures coming from India, China, European countries, and the indigenous cultures. Do you know how many religions coexist in ASEAN? Um, I would guess many. Many, <laughs> that's this right. Question, yes. So Buddhism, uh -huh. Islam, the Christianity, Hinduism, and indigenous religions. I see, wow. So let me give you a very mm -hmm. interesting uh, example. If you go to Jakarta, yes. capital of Indonesia, mm -hmm. the largest Muslim country in the world, but you can find a huge cathedral just across the street from the largest uh, Islamic mosque in oh, Asia. Right. Uh -huh. yeah. They're facing each other. Yes. And another the amazing example is the state emblem of Indonesia, mm -hmm. the Garuda. Garuda is the legendary bird in Hindu mythology. Mm -hmm. So which means the Hindu bird is the state emblem of the Islamic country. It's amazing. I, I see, I see. Ah. If you don't understand the beauty of ASEAN, you cannot love ASEAN. Of course, when it comes to learning about a country or the country's people, their history, mm. traditions, culture, it's best to actually go to that country. Mm. So in order to find out about ASEAN culture, you must go yourself in person. But I heard that there mm -hmm. is um, a way to find out all about it here in Seoul mm -hmm. uh, without having to travel abroad. Mm -hmm. And uh, so could you please tell us about that? Yeah, please come and join our program. We are carrying out <laughs> a variety of program all year round. Yes. So, the, the ASEAN Korea Center is widely open to anybody. Right. Yeah, particularly this year, our public lecture mm -hmm. is covering ASEAN culture through UNESCO cultural heritage site. So you can have better idea about the, the ASEAN culture through enjoying the UNESCO cultural heritage sites, mm -hmm. which are very beautiful. Um, are there a few places that you would like to uh, recommend people to visit if they have the chance to go? Well, there are so many the beautiful places, mm -hmm. uh, such as uh, Angkor Wat of Cambodia, mm -hmm. is overwhelming, mm. and, uh, and the Bodo Budur Temple in Indonesia. Do those two so places all of the ASEAN culture, uh -huh. uh, ASEAN the countries preserve the cultural heritage. Yes. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, now, I heard that there is an Indonesian saying that goes, if you don't know a person, <laughs> you cannot love that person. And would you agree with this? Of course I would. <laughs> That's the expression I always uh, emphasize. I see. Thank you very now, much. I hope that all of your hard work will help our relations continue to develop into one that is more genuine and mutually beneficial. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, yes, we wish you all the best of luck. Okay, thank you very much okay, for having me here today. Thank you.